Now into the deadly high-rise fire in the Bronx, there is new information about what went wrong and safety concerns. An FDNY source tells us there were several space heaters inside the apartment where the fire started, and one of those heaters was reportedly left on for days. We've also learned the FDNY is focusing its investigation on self-closing doors inside the building. They may have malfunctioned, allowing smoke to spread. Here is a look at some of the aftermath. Debris and puddles of water line the hallways and an apartment completely charred. CBS News' John Diaz is live outside the building on East 181st Street with more. John. Yeah, Chris Mayor, you just got some looks on the inside. Take a look now here at the exterior of the building here on the outside. Uh, we have learned that the kids who tragically lost their life here in this apartment fire, their ages range between 5 and 12 years old. And an FDNY source says that there will be no criminal charges filed against those who live in the apartment where the fire started. The cause has been ruled accidental. Distress turning into relief last night for these two sisters. Their brother and his girlfriend, both missing after the deadly Bronx apartment fire, were found alive at the hospital. They both have cerebral palsy. She's wheelchair bound and he can move around, but he has limitations. They are some of the lucky ones, others still grappling with the unimaginable. My cousin, I just got a news now he passed away, and the, the three children passed away. Oh man. It's terrible. In total, 17 lives were lost, including eight children. The FDNY says the fire at East 181st Street started after a space heater malfunctioned in the bedroom of a second floor duplex apartment. Sources say apparently it was left on for days and there were multiple heaters inside. Congressman Richie Torres says even though there were reports of heat in this building, often inadequate heat and hot water leads to tenants resorting to space heaters. And even if the landlord was requiring the legal minimum, you know, what the law requires often falls short of what tenants need to remain warm in their apartments. Something a new task force will focus on as it explores fire safety nationwide. We owe it to the lives lost to ensure that their death is not in vain. As the residents raced out, officials say their apartment door should have closed but didn't. One of two doors in the building, which was open, according to fire officials, which allowed smoke to spread through the 19-story structure, making it impossible for people to escape. This painful moment can turn into a purposeful moment as we send the right message of something simple as closing the door. A spokesperson for the building owner says all its doors are self-closing. According to city records, most recently, two violations were issued in 2017 and 2019, but were fixed. And now there are no open violations or complaints related to self-closing doors at the property. That's under investigation by FDNY, which is reiterating fire safety. We do recommend in high-rise fireproof buildings that people should shelter in place, and it's safer to be in your apartment than to venture out. Meantime, the kindness of neighbors and strangers could be seen. I have coats, jackets, shoes. Donations have been pouring in at pop-up relief centers set up to help the surviving victims. Now, so far, the American Red Cross says that it has housed roughly 38 families and it has also provided resources, you know, services to 50 families, including mental health resources. And we are told even more help, more resources and financial assistance uh, will be announced sometime later on today. We're live this morning from the Fordham Heights section of the Bronx. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.